I would say um, it was mandated that I was going to be in music. Coming from a musical family with just so many musicians, my father, Clarence Ford, my cousin Charlie Gabriel, Uncle Percy, Uncle Manny, Uncle Largus, Aunt Alberta, Aunt Cecile, the list goes on and on. to uh, have the opportunity to grow up watching my dad on TV, the uh, Ed Sullivan show, uh, so many shows that he was on with Fat Stamina, gave me the inspiration, I want to be like dad. I started playing Preservation Hall roughly in my late 20s. And I was blessed to be around some of these great musicians, icons, pioneers of New Orleans traditional jazz, the likes of Richard Payne, Walter Payton, uh, Sweet Emma, uh, Manny Crusto, who taught me a lot on the clarinet. You know, I was very fortunate to be under their wings to teach me what to do, what not to do. I like to go by that motto, uh, protect, preserve, perpetuate. It's important for native New Orleanians to understand how important that these musicians were to us and also the future. You'd be surprised how many people never heard of a Louis Armstrong or a Buddy Bowden, the Sidney Bechets, the Willie and Percy Humphreys. That is my role to teach the next generation, these musicians. This music would never die if I have anything to do with it. <laughs>